inside. It's about a mistress played by Dina Bonavi to a womanizing town mayor whose family and loved ones were in danger once she decided she wanted out of the illicit affair. Charo Santos played the scheming mayor's wife and Christopher De Leon played Dina's real flame who was sacrificed during one of the mayor's political killing schemes. Two very intense films from the pen of one most intense wordsmith for cinema. Ricky Lee and his screenplays have defined a new generation of Filipino cinema, steeped in social and common and timely relevance, strong and memorable characters, and lines that we remember long after we've watched the movies. And tonight, we give our humble national artist the tribute he truly deserves. Thank you very much for your stories, Ricky. Maraming maraming salamat. And thank you all for sharing and celebrating Ricky Lee and his work with us. Please enjoy the films, and we hope to see you all on the other events of the Philippine Film Industry Month. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Naway patlubayan tayong lagi ng ating Panginoong si Jesus. Thank you. 1982, kasi itong pelikulang nasulat ko nung taong yun, kasama ng Imala, Mara, Naplos, Relasyon, at Kay Natabel. Uh, nang nilapitan ako ni Lino Broca para gawin ng Kay Natabel, sabi niya, gusto ko Ricky gumawa tayo ng action, ng talagang action. So, sinyer niya sa akin yung isang pangyayari sa isang probinsya. Hindi ko na matagal ko ng probinsya or may dalawang magkapatid na nag-aaway, naging warring families at nagsimulang magkapatay-patay yung mga tao sa lugar. Nang tatapos na mashoot at, at ikinas ni Lino ang kanyang dalawang paborito na artist at that time, si Boyette de Leon at si Felix Salvador. Nang natapos niyang mashoot yung pelikula at napanood niya yung first cut, sabi niya, Ricky, mukhang hindi action. Ang nagawa natin, mukhang drama pa rin. Lumabas pa rin yung, yung estilo natin ng paggawa ng pelikula. Yung gumapang kasalusak naman, naalala ko na pagkatapos niyang mapanood yung first cut again, tumawag siya at excited na excited siya at sinabi niya sa akin, Ricky, finally, nakahanap na ako ng formula ng pelikula na makabuluhan pero commercial pa rin. Uh, Tuwang-tuwa siya at ang dami namin niyang balak na gawing pelikula. But the next year, wala sa schedule, he died. Um, so maraming hindi natuloy sa mga pelikula. But just the same, nagpapasalamat ako na may mga ganitong projects ng FPCP na hindi lang ibinabalik ang mga kwento sa mga sinihan, kundi yung mga pelikulang ginawa natin, namin noon, ay ibinabalik niya sa ating lahat para, para mapanood natin lahat. So, maraming salamat sa FPCP at sa inyong lahat sa pagpunta dito sa hapong ito at mamayang gabi. Magandang hapon.